The fastest growing black hole has been discovered by scientists. It consumes the equivalent of one Earth every second. It weighs the equivalent of three billion suns. Huge planets and enormous stars populate the cosmos. Although these stunning celestial bodies are amazing to view, there are other things that can cause existential fear. Black holes, which are regions of space with such a strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape, are one of the most terrifying and baffling cosmological phenomena. There are likely over a hundred million black holes in the Milky Way alone, and they are abundant across the cosmos. Often portrayed as terrifying monsters that eat everything in their path, black holes have been the focus of numerous science fiction thrillers. Black holes were once believed to be out there and very far away. However, researchers have recently uncovered a black hole that is rather close to Earth and has the potential to change the history of stellar evolution. Finding a black hole in our neighborhood is a major deal. Does it affect us in any way? Is it possible that, at some point in the future, we may succumb to its draw and be transformed into spaghetti? What is the probability that we will be sucked into a black hole? Join us as we explore the hidden black hole close to Earth and the enormous threats we need to watch out for. From our perspective, black holes look like yawning holes in space because they are celestial objects so dense that even light cannot escape their gravitational attraction. Smaller black holes are assumed to be the remnants of destroyed stars, but the origins of the largest black holes in the cosmos, which can be billions of times bigger than the Sun, remain a mystery to scientists. Black holes contain vast quantities of substance compressed into a tiny volume. According to NASA, it's like trying to fit a star 10 times the size of the Sun into a space the size of New York City. We are unable to examine black holes using our current instruments for light and radiation detection, since nothing can escape from them. Black holes can only be detected by observing their gravitational and electromagnetic effects on nearby objects. If a star, for instance, travels close enough to a black hole, we may observe the effect it has on the star. The fact that humans can't see black holes makes them, obviously, extremely difficult to locate. However, occasionally, they attract gas, dust, and lesser stars that shine brightly enough for humans to spot them in the night sky. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, is a prime example of this. However, this is not the situation with Gaia BH1. After their parent stars die, their leftovers become black holes. Their lack of luminosity is reflected in the fact that they also soak up any illumination directed their way. This renders them imperceptible to the naked eye. These cosmic assassins, called black holes because they are invisible in the light from other stars, have a literal name. Only singular black holes have this property. The gravity of a black hole will draw in any surrounding gas or gas from a nearby star. It gets really hot as it falls into the hole. This burning hot gas releases detectable light, acting as a sort of intergalactic torch that may be observed with the correct scientific equipment. The so-called feeding black holes are among the brightest objects in the universe, which may seem like a bit of a twist. Although Gaia BH1 is an exception, this is how the vast majority of black holes have been spotted. Neither is Gaia BH1 a feeding black hole, nor was it ever directly witnessed. As an alternative, its impact on a second star within its planetary system allowed for its detection. In around 50% of planetary systems with a sun-like star, there are two stars in mutual orbit. One such system is Gaia BH1, with the added twist that one of the two stars is a black hole. The Gaia telescope was launched by a Soyuz SDB rocket from a French Guiana launch complex in December 2013. Mapping the position and motion of a billion nearby stars in the galaxy is the goal of Gaia. It is an incredibly ambitious mission that has made tremendous strides in our understanding of astronomy and has been remarkably successful. But one star that was shown to be jiggling in place, as though it were orbiting another star that scientists were unable to see, was significant to Gaia BH1. After seeing this data, a group of astronomers decided to investigate the strange behavior of the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, one of the twin telescopes of the International Gemini Observatory. In addition to confirming the Gaia sighting, the team's study showed that they were witnessing a sun-like star orbiting a black hole with a mass of 9.62 solar masses. The star's mass is 93% that of the sun. 
About twice a year, the two stars revolve around a point in their orbit. Here's how it functions. Let's pretend you have a basketball-sized ball that weighs around the same as a toddler. The red glow from the ball is relatively weak, so it doesn't brighten its immediate surroundings but is still easily visible in low light. Let's get that ball attached to a sturdy rope. At last, you change into your burglar garb and move everything into a pitch black room. Here comes the enjoyable part. You seize the rope and fling it about like an Olympic hammer thrower. What does someone looking in think? To them, you are the invisible object that the ball is circling, and they can insert to 20 times that of the sun during its stellar phase. As a result, the black hole's parent star had a relatively short lifespan, just a few million years. It is just approximately halfway through the life expectancy of our own, much smaller star, which has already lasted 4.5 billion years. Supergiant growth, in which a star puffed out to enormous sizes, was the stage at which the progenitor star reached before it turned into a black hole. It seems like our star grew to the same size as the Earth's orbit. Because of its immense size, the parent star completely swallowed the star that is still in existence today. Following a brief period as a supergiant, the progenitor star ran out of fuel and burst as a supernova, resulting in the discovery of the black hole by astronomers. The reason for this is very strange, as astronomers would have expected the friction the star would have encountered when contained in the supergiant progenitor to slow down the star's orbits and bring them closer together than they are now. The growth and evolution of binary star systems, such as the one hosting Gaia BH1, will need to be re-examined by astronomers in light of this. Although there is still a great deal we don't know about the evolution of star systems through time, findings like Gaia BH1 are helping us to comprehend the universe we live in. There's no doubt that the possibility of massive, invisible objects capable of consuming entire solar systems lurking in the cosmos as black holes is terrifying. Though we may have lost the window of opportunity to accept death this time around, there is still time. Many questions about the birth of binary systems like the black hole and its companion star are sparked by the finding of Gaia BH1. This finding also suggests that there are numerous additional black holes in the universe just waiting for something to wander into their path. Meanwhile, researchers have found a black hole so enormous that it shouldn't exist. Stellar black holes are dense cosmic bodies generated when giant stars explode and collapse, and for a long time, it was thought that the largest black holes in our galaxy were no bigger than 20 times the sun's diameter. However, that estimate has been shattered by the discovery of a new monster black hole by a group of international experts. When a star with enough mass collapses upon death, a stellar black hole, different from the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies, forms. In terms of mass, the stellar black hole is 70 times that of the sun. According to most of the existing models of stellar evolution, black holes of such a massive size should not even exist in our galaxy. The monster, which is 15,000 light-years away from Earth, now goes by the name LB1. It was previously believed by scientists that as big stars like the Sun near the end of their lives, they must release much of their gas in tremendous stellar winds. As a result, they shouldn't leave such a sizable footprint. We were wrong about LB1's size by a factor of two. Now the onus is on theorists to provide an explanation for how it came to be. According to NASA, stellar black holes, though so dense light can't escape them, weren't identified until recently, and even then only through their feeding behavior on a companion star. This process generates extremely bright X-ray emissions, which can be picked up here on Earth, revealing the existence of the collapsed star. The majority of these objects, however, are not engaged in a cosmic banquet, and so just a few dozen galactic star black holes have been reliably discovered and measured. A further major step forward in astrophysics is complemented by the discovery of LB1. However, the discovery of LB1 provided concrete evidence that this population of overmassive star black holes exists in our own Milky Way. Because of this finding, we have to reevaluate our theories concerning the birth of black holes of stellar mass. This stunning discovery strongly suggests that we are on the cusp of a new era in black hole astrophysics. Understanding the formation of these heavenly bodies is interesting, but there is still the mystery of what goes on inside a black hole. What actually occurs within a black hole is, unfortunately, still a mystery. One hypothesis, however, holds that whatever falls into a black hole's singularity is compressed to an infinitesimally small point. 
Anything that crosses the black hole's event horizon is annihilated into subatomic particles before falling into the singularity. Anything that crosses the event horizon will no longer interact with the remainder of space-time. We assume this to be the case at the present time. On the other hand, the second largest black hole ever found in the known universe is found in Ton 618. The black hole in this extremely bright Lyman Alpha blob has a mass of 6,666 suns. Its mass is roughly equivalent to 66 billion suns, or roughly two-thirds of a galaxy. About 18.2 billion light-years from Earth is where you'll find this supermassive black hole. Between the constellations of Canes Venatici and Coma Berenicus is where you'll find it. It could gobble up our solar system in one gulp if it had a brain to do so. Being one of the brightest objects in the cosmos, Ton 618 is believed to be the core of a galaxy. This heavenly body still has a lot to teach us. But as of right now, all we know is that it most likely harbors the second largest black hole ever discovered. Moreover, the majority of black holes are not very big in relation to their mass. Some are not much larger than the Sun, but have masses hundreds of times that of the Sun. Despite being around the size of our solar system, the black hole at the heart of our galaxy has a mass greater than one million times that of the Sun. Black holes' immense mass compresses them into a limited region of space, which explains how they may be both comparatively small and extremely massive. Still, some black holes are quite enormous. So, which black hole in the cosmos is the largest? The Phoenix Cluster, a collection of galaxies roughly 8.5 billion light-years away, is home to the biggest black hole yet found. To date, the Phoenix Cluster has been the subject of more research than any other galaxy cluster in our universe. There are as many as a thousand galaxies in it, and star production in those galaxies is significantly more rapid than in other galaxies. The core galaxy, Phoenix A, is arguably the most fascinating in the cluster. Phoenix A has a star formation rate almost 700 times that of the Milky Way. On average, our galaxy produces one new star per year. Every year, over 740 new stars are born in Phoenix A. Star formation is occurring at an extremely rapid rate in Phoenix A, a phenomenon known as the starburst phase. Phoenix A is one of the most energetic galaxies ever found. What makes Phoenix a fascinating as a study target is not just star formation. The largest known black hole can be found at the galaxy's center. Based on size and mass estimates, this black hole is a real monster, completely unique to our galaxy and the nearby cluster of galaxies. The center black hole is predicted to have a mass 100 billion times that of the Sun. The black hole is so enormous that it dwarfs some galaxies. A distance of 366 billion miles separates the Sun and Pluto from the black hole's event horizon. If you could travel at the speed of light, you could circle the black hole in around 71 days. Because of its enormous size, this black hole could never have evolved from a star. Phoenix A's supermassive black hole is more likely to be among the oldest black holes in the universe, having originated from the merger of several smaller black holes early after the Big Bang. And the black hole is getting bigger and heavier on its own. At this time, it is consuming so much matter that its mass is rising at a rate of 60 suns per year. Phoenix A's supermassive black hole is thought to be a primordial black hole, making it one of the earliest known black holes in the universe. Although their beginning is unknown, supermassive black holes probably formed before the first enormous galaxies did. Astronomers believe that supermassive black holes play a crucial role in galaxy formation since they are found at the center of practically every major galaxy. However, it's unclear which comes first, the chicken or the egg. Who came first, the birth of supermassive black holes and then galaxies, or was it the other way around? Black holes and galaxies. Which came first? Two models attempt to explain the origin of supermassive black holes. However, this topic has yet to be answered. First, after the Big Bang, before or during the formation of the first stars, supermassive black holes may have originated directly from the gravitational collapse of gas and dust. There was a lot of star-forming material in the universe before stars formed in large numbers. The direct development of a supermassive black hole may have been possible if sufficient material clumped together and collapsed under its own gravity. The second possibility is that black holes merge together to form supermassive ones. Again, 
The sheer availability of star-forming material in the early cosmos would have caused the first stars to develop following the Big Bang to be far more massive than stars that form now. The greater a star's mass, the quicker it will deplete its fuel supply and die. Massive stars eventually die and gravitationally collapse into stellar black holes. These stellar black holes in the early universe would have had masses of about 100,000 suns, and if enough of them fused together, supermassive black holes would have formed. Both could be correct, or perhaps there is a third, as yet undiscoverable explanation for how black holes like Phoenix A got their start. The Tun 618 black hole has a mass that is more than 60 billion times that of the Sun. When compared to the Sun, the black hole known as Phoenix A is 100 billion times more enormous. Therefore, the black hole in Phoenix A is roughly 40 times larger than the one in Tun 618. We've established that supermassive black holes are thought to reside at the galactic core of every known galaxy. However, Sagittarius A star is the name given to the one at our galactic core. This black hole is approximately 440 solar masses in mass. Compared to the largest black hole ever discovered, this one is tiny. Anyway, the black hole's magnitude might not even be the most intriguing aspect of it. What makes this so remarkable is that we now have a picture of this black hole. A photograph taken with the Event Horizon Telescope of the accretion disk surrounding Sagittarius A star's event horizon was released in May 2022. Although this is not a picture of a real black hole, it is evidence that such a thing exists. Some people may hear black hole and think it will engulf the entire galaxy, but that is not how black holes function. As far as we can tell, black holes aren't galactic-sized cosmic entities. The Phoenix, a black hole, is the largest candidate for the largest black hole at this time. However, there may be much bigger ones that we haven't discovered yet. What do you think would happen to you if you fall into one? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.